resource room who did a Shakespeare play every year for many, many years. And we worked on it for about two and a half months. The kids presented it in the gym at Trinity Street with my two photos every year. So this is an extension of what we had already set up. These, this takes place in ancient Greece, right? And obviously our costumes are not from ancient Greece because that would have been very difficult <laughs> to do. What we have here are some of the costume pieces, and this will help you to identify each character. So, we have here Nathan as Aegis, and Aegis will always be in gray. You will always know that's Aegis. And uh, Fiona is being Theseus at the moment, and so Theseus is in red with the green leaves, okay? This is Hippolyta, and right? You are Hippolyta, you have all the people here. And you are Hermia, all right? Who will always be in this cave. And you are Lysander, who is always in teal, and Demetrius, who is always in gold. Helena will always be in this flowered teal. All of the tradespeople that will come on later will each have a different belt around their waist to tell you who they are. And um, Huck will always have a green cape over on his blue. So that gives you an idea of who, who is what. All the fairies will have a little scarf. And may I also mention that we have two people absent today. So there will be several understudies who will have their scripts with them, including Dr. So, thank you very much. Let the play begin. Four days with Lisa, four more days, the new moon and bring with their wedding. The tap cannot pass fast enough. Four days will quickly become nights. Four nights will quickly dream away the time. Hippolyta, I will be in the store in one hour. But now I went to the festivities and married. Happy new pieces are already on the Thanks, Good Vegas. What's the new with you? Full of vexation, I come to complain against my daughter. <coughs> Stand forth, Demetrius. My noble lord, this man has <coughs> sent to marry her man. Stand forth, Lysander. This man has bewitched the heart of my daughter, and she has fallen in love with him. He has tricked her with trinkets, baubles, bracelets, and sweeties. He has turned her obedience to me into stubborn harshness. The ancient law of Athens gives me the right to demand she marry Demetrius or have her put to death. What say you, Hermia? I know Demetrius is a horrible gentleman. I wish for my father to see with my eyes. It is your duty to look through his eyes, Hermia. I entreat your grace to pardon me. I ask that you tell me the worst thing that will befall me if I refuse to marry Demetrius. Either to die to death or to live forever without a husband in a nunnery. So will I grow up, so will I have to sit down and live. Take some time to pause. On the new moon, our work, my love, my love, you will either die for your disobedience to your father's will. When Demetrius? When Demetrius, as he wishes, or agrees with the nun to live with the nun. Or agrees with the nun. Or agrees to live with the nun for the rest of your life. Rome, sweet Hermia. I stand for you, God, praise her, I swear to God. I am, my Lord, as well possessed as he. My <coughs> fortune is just as great, and my love is more than his. Demetrius wants to the dark daughter, Helena, and won her soul. So now she does what is inconstant, man. I must confess that I have heard of this, and I thought to speak of it Demetrius, but I did not remember. <coughs> Demetrius and Agus, come with me, I was to counsel you privately.
Love can transpose form as easily. Love looks out with the eyes, so with the mind. But wait! I'll tell Demetrius of Hermes' plans. And to the woods he'll go tomorrow night after her. If only he thanks me, that's the price I must pay. But I mean to have his love when he returns. <laughs>